Hi there mga kabadis, it's me again, your buddy Hilaga Nilaga and today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to uh, fill up your uh, tax information in your Google AdSense account. Before we start mga kabadis, if hindi pa po kayo nakaka-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel, please do subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and then the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong videos. So, ayun mga kabadis, andito na tayo ngayon sa aking Google AdSense account. And then, makikita nyo po dyan sa screen, uh, nakalagay yung Manage Tax Info. Uh, lahat po kasi ng YouTube creators and partners are required to submit tax information to ensure any applicable taxes on your payments are accurate. So, ayun. Punta na po tayo sa Manage Tax Info. Pindutin lang po natin yan. And then, ayan, makikita nyo sa screen. Ayan, Manage Tax Info. Uh, United States Tax Info. So, makikita nyo sa baba, No Tax Info on File. So, kailangan natin mag-add tax info. So, kailangan ko mag-sign in sa aking Google AdSense account. May wait lang pa. Ayan. Nag-authenticate na po siya. Ayan. Once authenticated, you will be routed to the next page. Ayan. United States Tax Info. So, what type of account it is? So, makikita nyo yung pangalan nyo dyan. Is it individual or non-individual? So, choose lang natin individual. Kasi, hindi naman, wala naman tayo mga business uh, entity. So, individual account lang. And then, uh, are you a citizen or resident of the United States? No. And then next. Then select W8 tax form type. So two forms po yan. No? Yung isa yung W8 Ben. Uh, this form is most commonly used by non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. So yung isa naman yung W8 ECI. Yan naman yung sa mga non-US business entity or individual that earns income related to its U.S. trade. So, choose lang natin yung W-8 Ben. And then, start W-8 Ben form. Okay, medyo matala-tala lang po. Nag-load lang po siya. Tain lang natin. Ayan. So, dito, may kita na natin yung W-8 Ben Tax Form. So, complete lang natin yan. Andiyan dyan na yung pangalan. So, yan. Nakalagay na siya dyan. Yung sa DBA, optional naman yan. Hayaan lang natin. So, choose lang natin yung country or region. So, nasa Philippines tayo. Hanapin lang natin yung Philippines. Yan. And then, Taxpayer Identification Number. So, hindi naman tayo US, foreign TIN ang gagamitin natin. So, enter lang natin yung TIN number natin. Yeah, pag na-enter na, next na natin. So, address. So, permanent residence. Click nyo lang yan. Philippines. Street address. Kailangan nyo dyan lagay yung block or lot. Kung ano pa man. Pati yung street. Isama na natin dyan. And then... Uh, ito, yun dito sa pangalawa kung ano ba si, uh, kung subdivision ba yan or kung ano ito yung suburb kung anong barangay 
And then, Imus Cavite. Diyan na yung pati yung postal code. Kung ang permanent at ang mailing address niya is the same, so just click mailing lang din. So, ayan, na-complete na siya. So, check lang natin kung tama lahat. And then, next. So, wait lang natin kasi medyo matagal pa siya. And then, after that, ayan, makita nyo sa itaas yung tax identity information nyo. Punta naman tayo sa tax treaty. Are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? So, meron dyan no and yes. Uh, choose nyo lang yung yes. Yan. Ayaw. Resident of country, region claiming treaty with the U.S. Click nyo lang din yan. And then, country of region. Choose nyo pa rin. Siyempre, kung nasaan tayo, Philippines. Uh, na-choose nga ba natin? Ayan, na-choose natin. Philippines. Ayan. Special, special rates and conditions. Click nyo lang yung services, such as AdSense. Article 8. And then, yung 0% na reduced treaty. Ayan. Check nyo lang yung mga box. Motion picture and TV royalties. Click nyo lang din yan. And then, choose the article 13. And then, yung pinakamababang reduced treaty rate, 15%. And then, lahat na may mga box, i-check nyo lang siya. Other copyright royalties. Yan, click nyo rin. And then, the articles. Actually, pag may time kayo, uh, mga kabadis, pwede nyo yung basahin nyo na. So, para malaman nyo kung ano yung, uh, yung mga nasa loob. Yung mga terms of the treaty articles niya, di ba? And then, next nyo lang din yan. Ayan. So, may kita nyo na andyan na lahat yung na-fillupan natin. So, document preview naman tayo, no? So, andyan, yung, your tax form. So, you just need to confirm yung information na in-enter natin sa tax form. So, ayan, I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax documents to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true, correct, and complete. So, click lang yan. Kasi online to mga kabadis, no? so wala naman tayo, hindi na natin siya mapifill upon kasi online nga yan. We just need to acknowledge yung document nila. So, just click the next. Ayan, then tayo sa certification. So, yun. Pwede natin basahin yun pag may mga time tayo mga kabadis. Ano? Para malaman natin kung ano yung mga terms and conditions under ng certification for uh, tax dito sa Google AdSense. So, your signature. Uh, full legal name. Okay. Enter lang natin yung full legal name natin. Pag sinabing full legal name, pati yung middle name, complete po yun. Ayan. Are you the person listed in the signature? Yes. Okay. Click mo lang yung yes. And then, next. And then, nandito na tayo sa activities and services performed in U.S. and affidavit. So, has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section perform any activities and services for Google within U.S.? So, no. Click nyo lang yan. And then, I certify the services provided to Google. Ayan. Click nyo lang din yan, di ba? Certification lang yan, mga kabadis. Pero, syempre, maigi pa rin binabasa ninyo siya. Status change affidavit. So, click nyo lang yan. Are you providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments or an existing payments profile that has previously received payments? So, kung bagong, uh, ngayon ka palang uh, makakatanggap ng pay or ngayon ka palang magpo-provide ng tax information, so, ang TPD inyo is, I am providing tax info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments. So, bago pa lang kasi ako kabadi, sure na i-check ko. New payment pa lang ako. 
and then submit. Okay. So, yun na yung last step, mga kabad. So, check natin kung anong mangyayari. Ayan. Nagre-read pa siya. So, tayo natin. Ayan. Okay. United Stocks. Info. Ayan na. Status approved. Ayan. O, oh, diba? Completed na siya, mga kabadis. So, ganun lang kadali mag-fill up ng tax information for our Google AdSense account. And I hope, mga kabadis, uh, nakapag-share ako sa inyo ng uh, information at may natutunan po kayo information sa akin sa pag-fill up ng tax form in your Google AdSense account. So, kung nag-enjoy po kayo sa akin mga video, uh, mga kabadis, please like and share. And then, huwag niyo pong kalimutan mag-subscribe if hindi pa po kayo nakasubscribe sa aking YouTube channel. And then, i-hit nyo na rin ang notification bell para updated po kayo sa aking mga bagong videos. Yun lang mga kabadis. Bye! Thank you.